Welcome back to another games made in Game Maker Studio and this time I'm gonna try to re-engineer Nuclear Throne in the conception phase and if you're wondering how you can do that stuff because Nuclear Throne does some really cool things which are definitely noteworthy so stick around to see what's going on. So the first thing which is being greeted and what you see on the screen is this nice swirl and once for example you hover with your mouse over here let's say for example over one um, well menu thingy here then you will get a nice little animation which is absolutely I guess no animation so how can you copy that so let's go into the thing so first of all you have let's say one room and then then you have one object which is just having this sprite here which is going way 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 bigger so basically this is way way bigger than this thing here and as you can see the edges are quite uh, very unsharp and what it's just doing is just one image and then it's just rotating all the time and it's scaled up quite big so that's why you see those rugged edges because Game Maker Studio tries to calculate how would this pixel and this pixel and this pixel look when I turn the image all the time around. So this is how this is being done and for example that's where you will see in game as well the, like this one so this is kind of interesting. Here you will have one object which is just sitting here and drawing gray versions of the buttons here 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 here, here. and then it will as well uh, make some zones so for example once you are above those zones so this is one way to do it um, then if you are one of those zones then it will say okay you are on position let's say three and then it will um, paint uh, not a gray kind of sprite because these are all just sprite but a white version of the sprite and then a background sprite which you're seeing here and this is just being used for all the things and for example if you check, uh, change it to another position bam, it will automatically update that so this is how you can do that which is kind of interesting and for example if you think what the hell is that on the side well the game is made in 320 by 240 pixels so uh, yeah this game is quite small and therefore it has problems to have a pixel perfect um, while well, stretching for all resolutions because my monitor is quite big and it cannot handle that um, aspect ratio with this uh, resolution and therefore it will just stretch to the complete top and bottom so this is fine but then here it will have its problems and that's why you will have normally if you do that a black bar on the sides but here you of course you have a function in Game Maker Studio how you can make an image which just repeats in the background so you don't have black bars as well here because these black bars are made by the game as uh, uh, well by, and on purpose so you just see that you have a focus on the inside here and well, this is pretty much for this part because this is, there's not much more to say and for example once we click on one of those uh, let's say on start and then we are greeted with again one object which is come on sitting here and then it's just checking hey um what kind of things did i unlock it could be a ds list or an array because there are not too many positions you have like what how many are there 12 entries the first one is already unlocked from the start and then it's checking okay how many uh, things we are, are unlocked in this create event and then it will draw uh, the whole level which is just I guess a tile set or a regular level because it is basically a regular level and depending what is being unlocked it creates objects here 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 and here and depending where all the things are and therefore you see a nice little animation let's go check that out so basically you're just having um, well all those things which are unlocked here and then you have objects which are just sitting and animating as you can see they are not doing anything they're just animating and looking cool and for example once you hover over one of those things well you get uh, well this thing which is a pop-up 
And basically this is just again defined zones by this one object which is just drawing everything and just putting uh, those objects in here and once for example you hover over you get this little pop-up thing here just saying blah 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 something bam then it, for, of course it will draw a sprite depending what you picked and here one really noteworthy thing is this little guy which here which is on top let's go into the game as you can see it does something like blinking which is kind of cool and you can emulate it i have seen a video on this guy from india i guess um, and he shows you how to do that with surfaces so basically you have just one sprite and then uh, a thing here which is just going over there and then it's basically just melting the original sprite with the overlay which is white and this thing is being used in the weapons as well so this is kind of important and for example here very very interesting so for example you see this animation you just click on one of those things and then it will well the image which is quite big will just pop up very fast in from this point to this point and then you will see it and then of course with, with another font and then it shows you uh i guess these are sprites because I, I, I do not recognize this font so basically there's just sprites being drawn again and then depending what you're having different sprite like, like the, the big one and then the text and this font which is looking very cool and obviously once you go in bam same swirl showed again and here we come to a very interesting thing which is as you can see if you <laughs> make a light, nice screenshot so as you can see in the middle the middle is kind of empty so what you're doing here you're just stretching the thing very 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 high so this swirl is there you're just stretching it quite high some to the image x and y scale and until you have an opening so basically i don't know like three four five pixels are in the middle open from the start and then bam it will just open up and then it looks like a lens so this is kind of cool so this is an interesting effect how you can do that here nothing else to show so let's go basically in the game so once again we have our cursor here which is our fake mouse then you have an object which is sitting here on the top which is just drawing basically your GUI elements which is your mutation then your health bar which is sitting here let's go for a different color so that you can see it better yep and then it's just basically displaying all the information you need your mutation so basically your level you have then your two uh, weapon types you're using which is one laser and the other one is I don't know machine gun or whatever and then how much ammunition you have and basically that is it no not much more to say and here you have a object which is your player which is being spawned one once and on top of it it spawns its weapon type and as you can see one is being spawned like behind the player so basically you have just draw this weapon but draw it behind so may you make a depth below the player sprite and you make one which is on top of the player so this is the sprite which is being or this is the object which is being on top so basically one object here one object here and that one is being rotated with the mouse so for example if you go into the game as you can see it rotates with the mouse and as well the player sprite so this is kind of interesting so that you can copy um, here once again for example if you go into the menu then you will see uh, it will pop out and make everything darker this is basically just the surface this is an object which is coming and creating a surface making a black screen which is transparent of let's say 20% or something like this then it will pop in the just the image of your character which you have chosen so this is just checking and and an object which is all the time i guess on top of here just checking hey all your stats and then it will spawn all everything in here bam bam then you see just those sprites and here this just one background sprite which is this black thing then on top those other sprites which are those things here and then this plant thingy here then of course paused and then it's just giving back information hey where are you and how many things i guess you have killed and 
yeah and this is again a use of surfaces so for example if you think oh cool what is that basically what you're seeing here this these this is one surface system with three or two no there are two uh, rings first of all you have like a ring which is so basically you're just having a complete black screen on your surface and then you are cutting holes into that surface which is just being used in those dark levels and so the first ring has only a, a transparency of what was it let's say let's say 60 percent and that's why you see that it's cutting very very deep in but still it's kind of black here and then you have a second ring so basically you're just drawing two sprites bam bam and they are negatively cutting out everything from the surface so this is like a rubber stamp and you just taking stuff out and here one note note where they think for example as you can see this weapon sending some white stuff over there so this is the stuff which i showed you um this overlay which you can use for every um, image and this is just a surface as well but just for one sprite which is kind of interesting so what else um, um yeah and this is how for example a last thing which i found kind of interesting for example you have those uh as you can see here here, here those little dust things for example if you kill something um then it will spawn randomly at some direction some of those dust things so if you're hitting something so you get this nice dust effect um, on basically every enemy which is kind of cool well and that should be about it yeah so that was it hopefully that was of value to you guys have a good one one up indie